From the moment I discovered feminization, my world transformed. It wasn't just about dressing differently or acting in a new way. It was about embracing a part of myself that had always existed silently, waiting for its moment to shine. It started with simple curiosity, exploring the realms of clothing and makeup that I had always been told were not for me. The soft swish of a skirt, the delicate click of heels on tile each step was a revelation. But it wasn't enough to just dress up at home. I wanted to embody this persona, to live it. That's when I found an intriguing opportunity, a chance to become a sissy maid. It seemed like the perfect way to merge my desires with something practical, even beneficial. Dressing up, serving, maintaining poise and grace, it was all part of the package. So I sent an email to the address I'd found on a flyer, the one promising guidance and hormones, if that was the path I chose. The reply was swift, setting up a meeting with a woman who ran a service for people like me, people who wished to embrace their femininity in a traditional service-oriented role. The training was rigorous, learning to balance a tray while in heels, mastering the art of impeccable cleaning, and above all, understanding the dynamics of the role I was taking on, it was challenging yet exhilarating. Each day, as I tied my apron and styled my wig, I saw a more confident, empowered version of myself staring back in the mirror. Clients ranged from understanding and supportive to dismissively stern, treating me as nothing more than a fixture in their lavish homes. But each interaction taught me resilience and reinforced my identity. I was not just playing a role. I was finding myself within it. And tonight, as I prepare for another evening's work, I can't help but smile at my reflection a sissy made. Yes, but also so much more a person of strength, depth, and incredible femininity. Tonight, I stand before the grand mirror in the foyer, adjusting my apron and smoothing down my skirt, the soft fabric whispering against my legs as I move. The house is quiet, the silver gleaming under the dim lights, and the faint smell of lavender from my earlier cleaning lingers in the air. It's these small, seemingly mundane moments that resonate with a profound sense of accomplishment and belonging. As I hear the chime of the doorbell, signaling the arrival of the guests for this evening's dinner party, my heart flutters slightly with nerves. Hosting is a challenge I've grown to relish. Each guest brings a new opportunity to perfect my craft, to demonstrate the skills I've honed over countless hours. Good evening I greet with a practiced smile, my voice steady despite the butterflies dancing in my stomach. I guide the guests into the dining room, ensuring everyone is comfortable, offering drinks with a steady hand. Compliments on the ambience and the impeccable state of the home are directed towards me, and each one feels like a small victory, a sign that I am excelling in my role. During dinner, I move silently around the table, refilling glasses and attending to needs before they are even expressed. There's an art to anticipating, to being present yet unobtrusive, and I've learned to navigate these nuances with a dancer's grace. Later, as the guests retire to the lounge, I begin clearing the table. Alone with my thoughts, I reflect on the path that led me here. I used to fear these moments of solitude, worried that doubt would creep in and convince me that I was out of place. But those fears have faded, replaced by a quiet confidence. This role, though often relegated to the background, has allowed me to step into the spotlight of my own life, to be the protagonist in a story of transformation and self-acceptance. As the night wings down and the last guest departs with a gracious thank you, I close the door gently behind them and allow myself a moment of pride. The house is quiet again, the only sound the soft ticking of the clock in the hall. I slip off my heels, feeling the plush carpet under my feet a reminder of the ground I stand on, both literally and metaphorically. Turning off the lights, I ascend the staircase, each step a reminder of where I've been and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. As I ready myself for bed, I no longer see just a reflection in the mirror, I see a journey, a battle fought and won each day, and a future ripe with potential. As I drift off to sleep, I dream not of being anyone or anything else but simply more of who I am, embracing the complexity of my identity with each passing day. For in this role, in this life, I have found not just an occupation but a calling away to be utterly, irrevocably, joyously me.